This SpaceMaker workflow is going to look at taking the data out of SpaceMaker and into Revit. So this 3D model here has been built on a site in Rotterdam. We're just looking at the combination of the apartment units. We go to export the file by sending it to Revit. The proposal has now been sent. We open up uh, Revit here. And in Revit, just with a template, blank template here, we go to the Space Maker tab. We will load that file. There's a few settings here to choose from. Um, uh, you can leave on merge walls and adjacent levels if you want. Create generic model uh, for units. Um, you can bring in the satellite imagery. You can also submit feedback. I'm just leaving it on the defaults here. And here we have some warnings to review. So because we're working in a conceptual modeling environment in SpaceMaker, there might be some axes that are a little bit off. But in general here, you can see that it's brought in the site information. It's starting to give us some plan views to work off. So all these levels have come through and then we can go and create a new plan view off those levels. Uh, this building, because it's in two parts, it's actually got a few more levels within it. But um, again, this is still very new. It's in beta. When we go to the 3D view, I do have uh, realistic. I can turn that on and that will bring in the aerial imagery. So that's kind of cool. Uh, bringing that in as a texture map on the topo there. And here we have the uh, the building that's come in. Now I did include the massing component when bringing it in, so that's why it's showing that um, overlap. It also does the uh, share coordinates. So we've got our survey point and then our uh, coordinate point here as well. So um, you can go here and, and turn off the survey point. Um, I'll just zoom into that region. And very slowly, you can see um, here is my uh, my point in the center of the site. So that has my northings and eastings uh, showing up there for the project base point. So that's a handy thing if you ever struggle with share coordinates. So back here with uh, level one, we can see our floor plans, our topography, our site context, and we can then work this up in Revit. So it comes in as walls, roofs, and floors. Here we can convert some of those walls to curtain walling. I can start to finesse my design so it looks a bit more like a apartment building that is suitable for the Rotterdam environment. And of course, you can go through and set up camera views. You could take this to Enscape, Twin Motion, you could link into 3ds Max if you want. Or if you just want to do a basic uh, camera view here and see how that design looks, you can get some pretty quick results. So here, if you haven't used Rev before um, and you're wanting to get into it, here we have the building. I'm just using the camera, just adjusting the views for cropping. You can see in the background, it's also got the site context for the buildings. Again, this came in from the Space Maker model along with the topography and then we can adjust some of the graphics um, I like to have smooth lines you can turn on direct shadows or ambient shadows direct shadows usually a little bit better than ambient shadows depending on the view you're going for and then background just using a simple uh, gradient so here we have it um, a nice simple design that we've worked up using the space maker tool brought it into Revit and we're able to use that as a concept to present to others.